Hey, hey, Tommy Star here. Thank you for clicking on this video. Back yet again with another unboxing and weekly pickups video for release day, November 10th. So yet again, we got another big week of releases. I got two packages here to open up for you guys from Amazon. I believe there's four different titles there. And we do have a couple items also that I picked up in store. But before we get deep into the video, you guys, if you're not yet subscribed and you enjoy unboxing videos and seeing new titles for the week, please hit that subscribe button down below along with the notification bell. That way you guys never miss out on new videos. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. So for titles that came out this week, I didn't get. Uh, one of the big, big things is the complete series of The Office uh, came out in a big Blu-ray pack today, which I wanted to get and I may still get a little down the line, but it's, it's spendy. It's like over $100. Uh, but my son introduced me to that show a few months ago and I... I think I watched about two seasons of it. It's it's pretty funny. I mean, it's got obviously a great cast in it. Um, I just never got into the show back in the day when it uh, you know first came out. But he loved the show, and I thought it was super funny. So at some point, I probably will get that, but nothing I need to get right now. Uh, there was a Lionsgate title that came out today called, I believe it was called Mortal. And I did notice that it was in store. So that, that was a big Lionsgate title for the week. And then uh, what else uh, did we get? Oh, and then uh, something called The Last Dance that got released from ESPN. It's, uh, from what I can tell, it's something based on Michael Jordan and uh, like the Chicago Bulls dynasty um, from like, I think the late 90s or something. It comes in this like digipack. And I did notice that it was actually out in stores. So for you sports fans out there, um, you know, if you guys are interested, that did come out today. I, I don't know a ton about it, um, but uh, yeah, that's out there. So that's pretty much it for the big, big stuff. Uh, we got uh, new to Blu-ray today for The Odd Couple 2 with uh, Walter Matthau and uh, Jack Lemmon. I I like that movie. Um, I, I still want to get the first one. Uh, so eventually I'll probably get both of those, but that's pretty much it for stuff I didn't get. So let's go ahead and uh, look at the titles I got this week. We're going to actually open up the packages first and we'll save the titles that I got uh, in store for last. So we'll go ahead and start with this one here from Amazon. And pretty sure I know, know what this is and I'm pretty pumped about it. Okay. All right, you guys. So uh, finally got released on Blu-ray today. And that is Bill and Ted Face the Music. Now, I did get an opportunity to actually see this in theater with my brother. It was like the first movie I had seen in, I don't know, probably for the whole year. Because, you know, when theater started closing down back in March, I, I don't know if I had, I might have seen something in January. I, I don't remember. But it had been a really long time since I'd seen, uh, you know, a movie in the theater. So that, that was kind of a cool experience to kind of go back there again, finally. But I was uh, super pumped about this. It's a movie that's been in the works for many, many years and uh, we finally got it. Just going back and just revisiting these two characters. It's been so long, you know, God, how long has it been? Like almost 30 years since Bogus Journey. I don't think you'll ever make another Bill and Ted movie as good as the originals, but it, it was fun. I mean, I, th I thought they did a decent job, you know, definitely brought back a lot of memories. I think uh, Alex Winter and Keanu Reeves did a really good job uh, re-portraying these characters after this long. Felt like they just kind of stepped right back into those shoes. It was cool to see Death come back from part two. I think the uh, actresses who played their daughters did a really good job. I like the new uh, historical figures that they pick up along the way. The only downfall I have of this movie is I didn't really like the ending. I was waiting for this huge ending, this big spectacle, and... Uh, I didn't quite get what I was hoping for. I mean, that's about as much as I can say about it. But overall, I had a lot of fun with it. I really liked it. I'm glad they made it. And yeah, it'll be fun to sit down and watch all three of these now. There was also a three-pack release today with a slip and everything, uh, all three movies. And I noticed that uh, it was 
I think it's at all places. I think Walmart is the only one that you can get the triple pack on DVD exclusively, but I'm pretty sure Target, Walmart, and Best Buy all have that in store if you guys are interested. I think it's like 30 bucks, so. All right, on to the second package. I'm actually a little concerned about this because it was sitting outside uh, in the snow. We, we got a whole bunch of snow yesterday, you guys, like a few inches, and this was just sitting out there and it's kind of wet. I'm hoping that it's okay. We do have one slip cover here I'm hoping is okay. It doesn't seem to be that bad. All right, so I'll show you that one first. So it's been a really long time since uh, since this guy was in a movie. I mean, I don't even remember what the last movie was that he did. But we got a brand new Pauly Shore movie called The Guest House. I had to pick this up. I'm a big fan of the old stuff that... Um, that he did from back in the 90s. This was put up by Lionsgate. And uh, you get Steve-O in here, Mike Castle. I've heard that it's, it's a fun little movie. You know, not not no blockbuster or anything, but apparently this couple moves into this house and they have a guest house in the back that supposedly Polly Shore lives in. And uh, they can't get him to leave and he's causing all, causing all kind of chaos and stuff. It just sounded funny, but just to see Polly Shore... In another movie, I mean, yeah, it looks like it'll it'll be fun. So there's that. All right, next up here, we got another Full Moon title. And this is actually, they're calling this the 12th official entry in the Puppet Master franchise. And that is Blade the Iron Cross. Kind of a dark cover. I don't know how well you guys can see that. If you guys want to read back there, if you guys are a fan of the Puppet Master franchise, you want to read and see what that's about, but... I mean, it looks, I mean, I don't know if it's a movie more centered around just the Blade character. I really don't know if it's like a prequel or or what. But I, I got every one of these movies. Even the one that's on DVD that is, there's no Blu-ray for, which is uh, the Puppet Master vs. Demonic Toys. They haven't put that on Blu-ray yet. I hope, hopefully Full Moon does at some point. Uh, but I got the big box set of all the movies. I got Littlest Reich on 4K. Since I got them all, I seen it was coming out. It wasn't that expensive. It was like... 15 bucks. Um, so yeah, Puppet Master movies are just, they're just crazy. All right, next up here, you guys, we have a new Scream Factory Collector Edition. It's been a while. Uh, another Hammer title, and that is The Brides of Dracula. So now this is the last, unless they announce more, uh, this is the last Collector Edition until like March. Uh, but we do get some other stuff. In January, we got uh, Scream Factory's first two 4Ks, which is uh, They Live and uh, Prince of Darkness. They're also kind of uh, talking about working on Army of Darkness to be released on 4K, which all will be cool, but uh, I just, I want new to Blu-ray collector editions from them, you know? They did, however, announce something the other day that's pretty badass, another still book coming out, uh, not until February, but uh, a still book of My Bloody Valentine uh, with a figure, with a minor figure, uh, that's just, oh, I cannot wait, I already pre-ordered it, but anyways, uh, we'll go ahead and open this up and take a closer look, got the wrap off here, take a closer look at the slipcover, seems to be in pretty good shape, if you guys want to look at the new art, which was brought to us by Mark Maddox, I think he's done the majority of these Hammer titles, here's the back, if you guys want to read about it, and there's your special features, looks like there's quite a bit, Flipped over the alternate art. That's what that looks like. There's the back here. And then we get one disc. It looks like uh, some disc art, which is cool. So yeah, I mean, at some point I gotta I gotta watch these hammer titles because you know I always talk crap about them, but I I love the originals, you know, from the you know, 30s, 40s, and 50s, you know, the classic Universal Monsters. And that's what all these movies are based on, you know? So, I mean, I probably will be a fan. You know, I just got to sit down and watch them all, so. All right, you guys, now we're going to take a look at what I picked up in store over at Best Buy. What's kind of weird is that, again, you know, we never got any notification ahead of time that these were coming out today. Craig seen on some website a few weeks back that they were getting released today, but Blu-ray.com never updated with anything. Finally, when they showed up on Blu-ray.com, they still had no release date. And it was kind of weird. I didn't know for sure if they were coming out, but then sure enough, uh, you know, a, a day before yesterday, um, they popped up um, on all the 
websites, Best Buy, Target, and uh, all the exclusives started popping up. So I don't know why they delayed showing these and updating these that they're coming out today. It was really weird. I don't know. Uh, first up here, we got finally to 4K, the animated film Mulan. And there is an exclusive still book over at Best Buy of this. Just happy to see that title on 4K. And then uh, we did actually get a physical release of the new live action Mulan, which is really weird because this was a Disney Plus and most of the time streaming stuff never get a physical release. Sometimes they do. I could have sworn that there was a, a live action Lady and the Tramp that got put out on Disney Plus. You guys let me know if I'm if I'm wrong about that, but I thought I heard something like that. And that, that's true. I hope that gets a physical release, but... Yeah, so Mulan live action. There is a uh, still book over at Best Buy of this, and Target actually also put out a digipack, um, like you know, with like a gallery book, like they typically do as well. But nothing, no exclusive at Target for the animated Mulan. I have heard a lot of lot of bad reviews about this movie. Nobody liked it, but I'm still gonna get it for the Disney collection, and I'm just happy to see that we got new Disney titles because we don't get a lot these days, unfortunately. The Blu-ray of this didn't get a slipcover. I don't know why. I'm happy at least the 4K did. We didn't have to play that uh, crap like with Onward, you know, where it never got a slipcover on Blu-ray or 4K. Uh, but this one did, so thankfully. So, But yeah, like I said, I'm happy to have, you know, brand new Disney now. I think the last Disney title that came out was probably, as far as a new movie, was probably Onward. So not getting much these days. But uh yeah, I'm just happy uh, to have these in the collection. Again, I, I don't know what the deal was, why these didn't show up early for pre-orders and whatnot, but either way, I got them. All right, here's our stack for the week. Uh, some more good stuff. I cannot wait to watch Bill and Ted Face Music again. I'll probably be watching that tonight, but uh, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys picked up this week. Also, if you guys had any issues with the Mulan live action. I got this at Best Buy and it didn't come with a code. It's supposed to. I exchanged it for another one and that didn't come with a code either. So I have no idea what the deal was with that. But share the video around and thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.